pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you to help us understand this devotional that you have put before us. Help us to have eyes to see and ears to hear, Father God. Help us to accept the wisdom that you, you have placed before us. Father God, bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to first start off saying that this is going to be the only devotional for this part of this particular um, devotional because it is so packed. I feel like uh, wherever the Holy Spirit has placed in this devotional, I don't need to add to it. So if you're looking for a second one for a longer explanation, uh, if unless the Holy Spirit leads me to, this will be the only one. So it's not going to be called many or anything. It's just going to be called the name. So this is the only devotional um i'm going to be speaking a little bit slower than usual so if you're looking for something that's going to be quick i'm not doing a smaller one this is it um so uh let's get started ephesians 6 and 13 is the um verse to today for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places subject what is principality christian truths are the same and, um pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it i'm covered in the blood i'm watching i'm accepting the knowledge of god i am loved i write the devotionals that god has given me two weeks in advance so anything we are currently reading unless the holy spirit has placed it in my heart unless he tells me loosen this out now but otherwise everything is done in advance I write every day and I write only what the Holy Spirit tells me. I had one devotional to write, but I couldn't hear him speak. So I always just wait in his presence. Or if I wait long enough, I know that he is he's not giving me anything. I, I won't force anything because that's not how the Holy Spirit operates. But as I was waiting for him, I heard him say principalities. I have done a small devotional about this particular verse, but not like this. He said to give them an understanding of what this is and how to deal with it. Principalities aren't something we can bind. I've heard people say that bind principalities and, and power, and that's something we can't. And if you heard me say it, I'm sorry, but this can't be done. We are only to bind spirits and not principalities. Principles have something to do with a fallen angel. Principalities have something to do with fallen angels over a regional and them trying to control region, our country, with the ideals of going against God. To understand this, we must understand that principles are when we study the word of God to learn more, having good principles. This is the same we can't have sound principle. If we don't study, we can't have good principle. If we are constantly having our head or stuck in the phone or TV. I love playing video games. I think every everyone knows this at this point. Still, I can't grow in God if I'm playing hours and hours of video games. Not so, my friends. We must be willing to let go of the TV, let go of Instagram and YouTube Reels and Facebook to hold on to the teachings of God. The verse today tells us this. Are we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities? We wrestle with the principle that the prince of the airway is trying to place over this world. A lot of times we will cause us he will cause a city to start something first and it spread because the ideal have to stand amongst people before it can spread. It's like a new restaurant. I can open a new restaurant with new food, but me saying this restaurant is good isn't enough. I must be able to allow people to help me spread the word so people can come in and try the food. They love it and they spread it. So now I am known for having the best waffles and fries. See, if that principle or ideal can suit others, stand for others that means it will most likely will spread and that's how different mindsets and principles over the reason spreads if the fallen angel can change the way the school system views something if the fallen angel can get the people in the government to think this is a good good thing they have they have a following and then they fall then that power becomes slaves and start to ignore god we have to stop being slaves to the flesh we have to stop thinking we can bind it and we can't Ephesians 2 and 2, where within time past, he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now walk, worketh in the children of disobedience. See, as we walk in God and as we grow, we have to understand that we are dealing with something stronger than what we think we are dealing with. We are dealing with the prince of the air. 
because everything that's happening in another realm, not in this realm, is above. So everything is caught up there. Until we start realizing this, we will we will understand warfare more. Warfare don't start immediately. It starts back. So the enemy sees who we are and what we will be powerful enough to do. And if he can get the fallen angel to plant seeds into us, now he have destroyed what God has for us. The enemy wants you to think he's destroying your position now in God. No, he's trying to change your spiritual position you think you have with God in the future. That's why if you need, if you read, Paul was telling us to, to be ready to battle. He was telling us that we will, what we will need. A lot of times we ignore what God is trying to do because we have our own agenda. But if we start now binding every thought that that's why the Bible says cast every imagination down, don't allow it to stay. A lot of us allow negative thoughts and such to linger in our head, but we shouldn't give the enemy power over our thinking. Now I'm going to teach them this again. And I'm going to use the same verse, but this devotional is meant to teach us about principles and principalities. I hope this devotional did this because with us knowing, we are leaving, with us not knowing, we are leaving ourselves open to defeat. And we don't want to do that at all. The word of God says this, his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Give it to God, which is your body and time. Don't allow the prince of the air to continue to tell you what is the right principles today. We read in our word not to do this and not to do that. But if we stop allowing, if we if we stop allowing God in and we stop allowing him to show us and tell us, we would never know what we must be doing and what we should be doing. Uh, doing things, what we should be doing in the things about the things in this world. The world is trying to tell us or convince us what is right. We must not ignore it and pray. We can't fight everything, everyone, but God can change it our motives and their motives because if our motives are all about, all about fight 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 we won't win but when our motives are about pray 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 we then are making progress allow the holy spirit to teach you so that you may see spiritually prayer heavenly father thank you for every for your blessing us with this devotion we thank you for teaching us what we need to know father we are so humble we ask you to forgive us if we did anything wrong or said anything wrong help us to remain focused on you Father, help us not to be slaves to flesh, but deny our flesh and speak up and pick up our cross. Lord, we ask you to continue to be with us each and every day. Lord, show us what we need to know. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear your voice. Lord, we ask you today to pour your wisdom into us so that we may know your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. In the reference is Romans 8 and 38, for I am sure that neither death nor life nor angel nor rulers are nor pre things present, nor things to come, nor powers. First Peter 3 and 22, who has gone into the heavens is at the right hand of God with angels, authority, and power having been subject to, to him. Colossians 1 16, for by him all things were created in heaven and earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dom dominations or rulers of authority, all things were created through him and for him. Further reading, I had a paper for further reading, but I'm going to have to post that a little later. I just want to also say that please take your time and read this devotional. Um, this devotional will explain a lot to you about things that you might not know and things that I didn't know until the Holy Spirit brought it to my attention. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to click that like, subscribe, and follow button and share with a friend or family member. Be blessed. Thank you.